Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a slideshow introduction video for your YouTube channel using Filmora 9. Let's getting started now. I have already imported the images, music file and animation file into the media library. For this example, I will use free stock images, which I downloaded from pexels.com. But, you can use your own images if you want. Firstly, I will need to double check my project settings and preferences in Filmora 9. For this example, I will make a 1080p video at 24 FPS. For this example, I will make a 1080p video at 24 FPS, but you can make it another resolution and FPS if you want. It's just my personal choice. Let's go to the preferences settings. Here we need to click on the editing tab and change the photo duration so that we have the same duration when drag and drop our images onto the timeline. Let's go ahead with 12 frames per second to see how it looks. At the photo placement option, I will select pan and zoom so that the image will automatically zooming in and out whenever we drop an image onto the timeline. Let's see how it works with these settings. Let's drop images and music file onto the timeline now. Ok, let's preview to see how it looks. Hope it's ok. I think the effect is a little bit too fast. I think my photo duration is too short, let's change it to 1 second in the preferences settings. You can also select 24 frame instead of 1 second as we are working on a 24 fps timeline now. I need to delete all the images on the timeline and bring them back from the media library. It looks better now. Again, this is just my personal choice, if you want faster zoom effect, you can simply shorten the duration of the photo like what I've just did. In order to control zoom in and out direction of each image, you can select the clip, and click on this zoom and pan button. Here you can switch the zoom direction by clicking on this button. Don't forget to select 16 by 9 at the aspect ratio too. Now I will change all my 4 images on the timeline too. I will fast forward this part to save your time. Ok. The adjustment is finished. Let's copy and paste these image on the timeline to create a longer image sequence. You can import more images if you don't want to use the same image. Preview it again. Ok, now we can add some text on each image. Let's go to the title tab. Select a default title. Drop it on the top track. Then, shorten the duration of the title to 1 second. Double clicks on the title track to customize it. Go to Advanced Edit. Let's change the text content to Software Review. I will check Text Border as well as Text Shadow in this case. I will need to change the font and adjust the character space a little bit more. The font I used in this example is Impact which is a big, and bold font. It's one of my favorite one. The text is ok, now we need to add zoom and animation for the text to get the same effect with the intro. At the animation tab, let's find zoom in effect. Click OK to go back to the timeline. Preview it. OK, 
Now you can copy and paste this title box to where you want to have the text appear. Let's also fast forward this part. Ok, let's go back to the media library and drop the circle animation file onto the timeline. I will put it on the same track with the title as I will need to put a sequence of images under it. Let's slow it down the animation by 25% first. Look great now. At this position where the final beat drop, I want to stop the animation at this point, and transition to new image. It can be your channel logo. So, I will add a freeze frame at this point. Let's activate chroma key feature to remove the gray circle first. Now the image under this animation video will appear at the circle. All you need is to put the image you want to appear on this image track. Remember to extend the duration of the image at freeze frame position. You can also add dissolve transition at that part too. That's all I need to share with you in this tutorial. If you have any question, let me know at the comment section below. To download all the material for this project, go ahead to link in the description. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next videos. Bye for now.